This where yeah. this is where we get them at over here because over there I'm a fool. Right. Niggas, they don't get this nowhere else. <laughs> so I saw I you speaking it. on, you know, speaking about fools. Yeah, I saw you speaking on recently about how. You know, a, a situation happens. Nobody reaches out to you ever, but then all of a sudden something happens. Ain't nobody wishing you yeah. well or hoping you're good. Oh, you okay? It's yeah. more or less like, tell us a story. Tell us how, how everything happened. Uh, yeah. um, is it difficult having people always size you up as a character instead of a human? Uh, no, that, that, uh, that, that's how I protect me. That that the character protects Charleston because he stands in the middle of Charleston. If I bring me to y'all, then they're gonna crucify me. Do you see what they're doing to Will Smith? And he's he he's he's a quiet man. He's not speaking ill against his wife, but because his wife is showing her flaws, you see how they're doing him. Bad. They don't have a character. He don't have a character out there. Uh, I got a character that protects Charleston. Mm-hmm. Nigga, they get stuck on the character, so they don't even try. They don't even face a fuck Charleston. Because if you got to Charleston, you see, man, uh, he just talking. Nobody can say I've done anything. The character is just talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Charleston then, ain't done you nothing. Do have, like, I feel like, Charleston ain't snitched on nobody. Charleston ain't got no paperwork, but the character talks like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But when the story is that you got pissed to whip and you got beat up, I don't think it's shitty to know that more people aren't saying, "Hey, you okay?" Uh, and more people are just sitting there and asking what happened. Uh, like nobody wants to know, "Hey, yo, is are you okay? Are you good?" It's well, like, this is this is what I'm telling people: don't call and ask me, okay. Because I don't already told y'all, if a motherfucker don't went live at the hospital, they okay. Mm. People that's dying don't go live. People that really got Word. beat up and that's hurt and pistol whooped, they, nah. they, they spirit won't allow them to let y'all see them like that. If a motherfucker going live, they doing it for clout or something. 100%. You got real life to worry about, and you want to go live. Come on, think about this. awareness. So, 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 you know so, I mean? so, so, think about this. Yeah, an incident happened. But it wasn't what the internet think it is. Yeah. yeah. I'm sitting right here before y'all, homie. Yeah, next day I see you. Nigga hit me, <laughs> nigga, nigga hit me in the head with a pistol. But I done been hit in the head with a gun before. Yeah. I done hit niggas in the head with a gun before. <laughs> and the nigga that hit me in the head with a gun is a killer. Big bad nigga who run the town, scared of the town, king paying nigga. Word. But he a child molester and a snitch. And his documentation. There's a historical drug bust in our town called The Life of the Fishbowl. It's a book about this guy. He the snitch that brought the FBI to bring all his full trade gangster crips down, and he was the leader. But, but since he's a killer and can't nobody whoop him, won't nobody speak on him. It's the same in your hood and in everybody else's hood. See, the nigga that'll kill and can fight in this gangster he get to go to prison and fuck a nigga and won't nobody say he fuck nobody. He get to molest children. He get to molest. He get to fuck the sixteen year old girls, the seventeen, and, it, and his homeboy nobody won't say, say nothing. Shit. He get to beat up his woman, and his homeboy won't speak on it. They'll whisper behind his back. I'm the nigga that speak on it. Mm. Right. See, I'm playing snitch. Ain't no paperwork on me. So I sat back and watched. I said, man, mm. won't nobody say nothing in the streets. They still hitting his C's and hitting his G's. The streets is a hypocrite. They pick and choose who they apply these rules to. Mm, They pick and choose, my nigga. Based on fear? Based on fear. That's why, listen, that's why you never hear about the OGs who rape and fuck the boys in prison. They'll tell you about the nigga that's weak and fuck the boy. They'll tell you about the nigga that's weak and got raped. But they never talk about the killers who oh, do it. it. Yeah. And nobody does it more than the killing niggas, the gangster niggas. So this nigga here that hit me with the pistol, we've been crossing paths for a while. He been telling me I can't speak on the fact that he snitched. Won't nobody speak on it but me. And I say it publicly. So we done bumped heads before. Mm. I always said, nigga, 
one nigga can't get me by himself. They go have to get more than one nigga. Can't no nigga get me coming directly at me. He got to get me from behind there. And that's what happened. But you looking at me now, don't you? Mm-hmm. I ain't uh, never. I've been, nigga, I've been hit, but I ain't never been hurt. Oh, uh, I took one blow and woke up and stood up. And he stands 6'2", 6'3", 230, 240. And I ain't take no more blows. I went in the ambulance and went live because I'm going to sue the barbershop. I went live with a Band-Aid. Nigga, I'm going to sue the nigga, but I'm also going to press charges too. You feel like you were set up in that instance? Uh, I know I was. Okay. Because because I don't go to barbershops. Yeah, we all know how. I, listen, 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 I don't go to barbershop. I got a I got a celebrity bar. I got Kendrick Lamar's former barber, nigga. His call his name is Popular Nobody. He's the director of Paul Mitchell Barber College. He's the guru in the Harriet. That's my barber. Okay. But an associate asked for a shirt. And I thought to myself, I said, nigga, these niggas ain't never wanted to wear my shirts before. Why this nigga want a shirt? So I already got the red flags. But my brother just come home from prison. These my brother homeboys. And I've been telling this nigga, nigga, your homeboys is the niggas I've been getting into it with. But he he don't know. He lame. He ain't been around. So right. Big Broden graduated from Barber College. He want to go cut in the hood. I don't want to kill his dream. Come on, my nigga. No, nigga, by you going to the hood, you get these niggas action at me because I'm going to come stop and fuck with you. you. Now they got the drop on me, nigga. But I don't want to kill. Bro, I don't want to kill bro dream. But goddamn, nigga, fuck this. No, but okay. So now they got. I I, I fuck with you, so I'm I'm going to. Man, listen, homie. (laughs) And I fuck with the nigga who cut my, used to cut my hair off. That no longer cut my hair. It's supposed to be a good spot for you. It's there you sp- go. Supposed to be a safe space. Come on now. Come on now. So it's a safe space for me. And they but, know that. And- but but the nigga who cut my hair, it's another barber shop on the corner. He know my enemy get his hair cut down there. So say man, such and such. There you go. Now on Thursday. There so, you uh, there you go. Say so if so. You feel like stopping? So by. the play was, hey man, see if your brother bring me some shirts or if I want to buy some of them shirts. Oh, man, he ain't got to buy none of my nigga. I'm going to bring him some of them hoodies and all that shit. I'm, yeah. So I bring the shirts up there. Uh, I don't go to barbershops. And, and, and I don't sit nowhere alone. So, so nobody knows my movements. Uh, I, got, I got three. I, I, got, I, got many, I got several houses, homie. Uh, nobody knows where I sleep. Uh, so, uh, so it was several people involved. Uh, yeah, it was several people involved. So, uh, damn. Uh, it wasn't about me, though. See, certain things have to happen. Uh, it, 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 if your friend die, your friend death is supposed to have an impact on you that causes you to change something mm. about your life for the better. Lesson. Right? Uh, my brother wouldn't go listen, so something had to happen mm. Show. for him to listen. Because you're going back to the hood, my nigga. You've been gone 31 years, nigga, on a 114-year sentence since you were 17 years old on a capital learn. murder charge, you gotta right? Re, you got to relearn some things. Nigga, and, and, and so you done went back to the hood. Well, we all know, nigga, in order to change your life and change things, the first, and the first things that you have to change is people, places, things. You can't get out of prison and go back to the same people, the same places, and the same things. You're going back to prison, yep. Right? If you done graduated from Paul Mitchell Barber College, nigga, where you learn how to cut white people's hair, you learn how to dye, why would you take these skills all to the hood? Ain't no white people coming there to get their hair cut. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you learn, you got the kind of skills where you can go to the mall and get $70 cuts. Uh Why you coming down here with these niggas with these $30, $40 cuts where they fight and shoot at? And you Paul Mitchell certified. And I'm telling you, (laughs) nigga, I'm telling you, my nigga, you get these niggas action at me, my nigga, because you my brother and you still want to hang around these niggas. I get it. You got to get it out of you. But, nigga, you get these niggas action at me. So he had to. So this had to happen to me so yeah, he can realize. see little bro know what he talking about. Mm-hmm. See, big bro don't think little bro know what he talking about. 
And I had to tell that nigga, nigga, you been gone 31 years, nigga, don't none of them nigga give a fuck about you, nigga. Word. Nigga, your mama was the only one riding down there to see you, nigga. I quit you at some point. Mama was the one still sending you money, nigga. When you start fucking up and it looked like you didn't want to come home, nigga, I said, fuck you. Mama ran down there to encourage still, you. Yeah. That's your partner, nigga. That's your partner, nigga. Mama, that's who rode that 31 year. Did none of them, nigga. Mm. But this had to happen to your little bro so you can get from down there, nigga. Right. I had to sacrifice this to get you from down. Because, nigga, these niggas don't have action at me, my nigga. But you came home and gave these niggas action Excellent. at me because you fuck with these niggas, homie. And I'm telling you, these the has been niggas. These yeah. the used to be niggas. I'm the today that nigga. Huh. Yeah, no, nah, nigga, yeah. I can buy you a barbershop. Nigga, fuck the hood, nigga. <laughs> but he had to see. What you don't want to do is shatter his dreams. Nigga, that's the hard part. Yeah, that's the hard but part. But nigga, in the process, I, I, I nigga, yeah. Took that bullet. Well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, luckily, uh, it wasn't a bullet, but uh, you, you took it. The nigga who did it is a real snitch, FBI informant on a historical drug case. But because he's a high value gangster in the Ooh, streets, don't he just dropped some bars over there. Because he's a high value it. gangster yeah. in the streets, yeah, they yeah. overlook and turn a blind eye yeah. to his flaws. Mm. And he a real killer. And then the internet, it always gets a little wild when uh, well, stories come I, out. Well, I brought it to the internet so it can get wild. See, so what I did yeah, was, I uh, uh, I know his videos on there, right? Mm. Nigga, I got a bull day videos. So let so, me say, so, so question. Smart. You heard what happened with Budden? Nah. Uh -uh. They said he got beat up last night. Oh uh, well. Night before on on uh, at the strip club, and it was the same thing. Um, people saying they beat.